Man, I haven't been live in so long. <laughs> But it's not letting me do live chat, so I think I have to switch it over to not for children. Maybe not. Now it's working. What's up, ABCs? Cam Disney, good to see ya. Yeah, I haven't been live in a minute. Woo. Let's see if I can there we go, the live chat's finally up. Interesting. So listen well, welcome. How you doing? I don't know if I've seen you around before. Maybe I have. Go to channel. Check your channel out real quick. Boy, I had some stuff stack up, so I haven't been live in, my goodness, a, a minute. But, uh, finally was able to get live, so <clears throat> what happens, I had to go on business. Parker, what's up, man? Good to see ya. I had to go on business up to Denver, and I was able to buy some product while I was up there, which is good. But, uh, the business got extended and extended and extended, and I ended up staying almost a whole week. So, uh, then when I got back from business, I got sick with the flu, like almost immediately. So this whole last week I've been sick, uh, with the flu and it's just been brutal. So not, uh, not that fun. What breaks am I doing tonight? Well, that's a good question. So I do have two breaks on the site right now. Let me go ahead and drop the link for you. Listen, well, I, uh, jumped on your bus, my friend. So I have a Mega Baseball Mixer number 7. Uh, and that one is going to include uh, this Bowman's Best box, this Topps Finest box. I have five Topps Chrome boxes and this Onyx Baseball. One player preferred, or preferred player from 2019, Authentic Baseball. I did put the checklist on the website, so uh, you can check the, the uh, checklist out. Let me drop the links here. So that's going to be Mega Baseball Mixer number seven. Pretty legit. That uh, baseball is kind of exciting. I don't know who's in there, but the checklist is pretty cool. You can get a Mike Trout in this. So that would be kind of legit ski. Um, uh, yeah, who was, uh, who was playing, uh, I was watching Kansas City just come back and demolish Houston, 51-31, incredible, uh, and now we have, uh, the Seahawks playing Green Bay, I don't have Hulu Live anymore, so I have to watch this stuff on my phone, you know, Yahoo through the, uh, like Yahoo, um, what's that? fantasy app that they have it's not their yahoo sports app it's their fantasy app and maybe it is their sports app that it links to i'm not sure but anyways you can watch the games inside there which is awesome green bay and seattle right now yeah hope all is well john's arcade cards and more good to see you man yeah i'm uh, doing much better i was sick for a while there but I got some uh, some stuff that I wanted to show you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show the break real quick. So this is going to be the Mega Baseball Mixer break. It's five of those Topps Chrome boxes, a Bowman's Best Hobby Box, a Topps Finest Hobby Box, plus that Onyx Baseball. And I also have Football Mixer number two. And this one's pretty legit also because we have the Contenders, Panini Contenders, which is just released uh, two weeks ago. Um... So it's a fairly new release, not two weeks ago, last week. So, anyways, fairly new release, awesome box. It's got five autographs in it, including one that's on card. And then uh, these two boxes of Optic um, for the uh, Mega Football Mixer number two. That is also on the website, so you can check it out there. Elkanonbreaks.com. 
Will, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Thank you. Camden just gave an update. Green Bay is up 14-3. Yeah, I uh, would normally be watching the game on my phone, like I said. I got a bunch of mail, so I'm going to open uh, a lot of mail today, too. So let's go ahead and, and open some of what we got. Uh, this one's kind of cool because it's just my first uh, run of cards that uh, I'm going to be handing out to you guys. So this is the El Canon card. I thought it turned out pretty cool. That's what it looks like. I went with the 2017 design. I believe that's 2017. And uh, did the rookie card. And on the back, it just says, Sheboygan. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Hey, Isaac, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. I uh, was hoping to have good news for you on the PSA front, but it has only moved one tier. I've only gotten one of the uh, last eight orders that I've sent in shipped back. It just shipped yesterday. So they are moving, but they're very, very slow. Let's see here. I got a bunch of mail. Yeah, I think it came out pretty cool. I, I like the card. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have put it away. Actually, I should flip this around. Probably already just docks that guy, although I couldn't even read his info enough. There we go. We're zoomed in a little better. This uh, first package comes from Opeachy. So, Opeachy, thank you very much. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, let me, oh, now that I have that camera zoomed in, I'll show you the card a little closer up. There we go. I like it. Came out nice. So yeah, I'll be sending a, a few of those out. Yeah, it's a busy season for PSA for sure. Especially because they got so many products that hit the market at once. So we have a bunch of packs from Opeachy. Sweet! The Jumbo Pack... From Pinnacle. Here's a 1991-92 NHL Series 2. Gunner, stop. You don't need to whine at me, bro. Uh, score Hockey from 91. Awesome. Um, 1990 Score. Uh, minor League Baseball, 1989. That's pretty cool. Excited to see what's in that. And then uh, another Hockey Pack. And Nolan Ryan. Texas Express pack. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do with them. Hold them. And then he sent me some cards. Some individual cards. Ooh, there's a Charlie Blackman, number to four ninety nine from Bowman Chrome. Very nice. Another Blackman Silver Silver Slugger Award. And League Leaders. Oh, Peachy, you are the man. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. We got some packs that we can open on the channel and uh, some cards. So let's see what else came in the mail. Well, I was, I'm sorry, I still sound a little congested, I'm sure. Um, I was uh, pretty sick. This one comes to us from, I don't even remember. I believe I do know who this is. Yeah, this is classic cards. Classic cards hooked me up. They gave me a note here, so let's go ahead and read that first. And I checked this note out before to make sure everything was good. Dear Elkanon, thanks for being such an amazing part of the community. Uh, card community. Uh -huh. Card community. Here's a small package for me to you to show my appreciation. I've included Rockies cards. Uh, a couple packs to have fun with. Sweet. 2015 Tops. I uh, can look for the Chris Bryant in there, the 1990 score. We're looking for the Thomas and Sosa bow nose. Um, he went to the same college as Chris Bryant. Oh, that's awesome. 89 Donruss, the kid. 
Uh, not much, but have, that is much. Shit, it's a lot, man. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, classic cards, you are the man. Thank you so much. Um, appreciate this. So we got some packs here, and looks like we've got a bunch of individual Rockies cards. So <laughs> excited to see what's in these. Sweet. 89 star had Albert Bell rookie card. Okay, that's legit. Will, I uh, I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. I feel like I've been off, and I have been off. I've been sleeping for four days. Wow, look at this. We got quite a bit. John Gray, Ian Desmond, Charlie Blackman, Trevor Story, his tops chrome. Ooh, till it's over. Troy Tulowitzki, nice. Four for seven, uh, 07 win for the International Wild Card berth. They had to win 12 of 13 to get into a playoff game with San Diego. And they ended up winning that playoff game with San Diego to get into the playoffs. They swept the playoffs, Rainbow Foil story. Um, swept the playoffs and had to wait eight days before the series started and got swept by the Red Sox in the series. 2008. It was so saddening. Another rainbow foil from Charlie Blackman this time, though. Ooh, look at that. Arenado. Sweet. I don't have that card. That's kind of cool looking. Kaz, what's going on, man? It's good to see you. I did get that mailed out the other day, Kaz, so sorry about that, man. I just slipped through the cracks. Ooh, a Matt Williams. Ooh, I don't have this one either. That is swanky. I like the look of that. That's sharp. That's a nice looking card. If you don't know, I PC Matt Williams. <laughs> Love the dude. Nolan Arenado. Don't have this card either from Topps Chrome. I think this is back 2018, 2015. Sorry, 15. Oh, way back. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, still recovering a little bit. You know, I still got this congestion. Um, I didn't go live the last three days because I was coughing so much when I would talk that I couldn't get through a sentence. And so going live was not really an option. A bunch of Arenados here. This is sweet. Look at that. From Heritage. Ooh, and then like that, a patch card from Trevor Story. Sweet diamond collection. I don't know if I have any uh, memorabilia of Trevor Story, actually. Any cards that are memorabilia. Classic cards, man. That is awesome. That was just pack one. Oh, and we're not even done with it. Got one that's oh we got an auto here wow uh Russell Herrera Herrera sorry Russell Herrera first Bowman that's a 2014 yeah the kid never made it but uh, hey I'll take any autos you got from the Rockies that's awesome Tom T what's going on man what's going on good to see you my friend. Uh, some Pokemon here. Ooh, cool. A little Charizard Punch Out. Uh, it's a Poke Trivia card number six. Interesting. Wow. It's in uh, terrible shape, but that's uh, an awesome card. Just for a Charizard collector like me, I just ha like having it. That's legit. Trainer card. This is from uh, 1998. No, no, 1999, Wizards of the Coast. I don't know why they print all the uh, like n other dates on there. And that set came out in 99, but they have all these other dates printed on there. Always good to see you, Tom. Ethan and stuff. You were asking for a promo code, I think, earlier. <laughs> I do have uh, two breaks on the site right now, and I also have stack breaks of other stuff on there that's uh, cheap stuff, like score, 89 score. Yeah, 89 score, 91 Fleer. Uh, then I also have some stacks of uh, Tops Series 2 from 2018, so um, there's possible bat down to Cunha in those stacks. Those are on the site also. Um I'm not sure what else. Top prospects. Todd Helton. Sweet. It's not top prospects. SP prospects. Whatever that is. But uh, any prospect card of Helton, that's awesome. 
Dante Bichette. Now we're getting some age here. Ellis Burks. Yeah. Todd Helton, the godfather. The Todd father, as we called him. Garrett Atkins. Sweet. He went on that big run with us in 07. Bichette. One of the Blake Street Bombers and Larry Walker. Oh, man. I really hope Larry Walker gets into the Hall of Fame, but it's not looking good, man. It is not looking good. Another Todd Helton there. Different card, which is awesome. I'm a huge Todd Helton fan, so having all these Todd Helton cards is awesome. And Larry Walker. Andre Scalaraga. Preston Wilson. Not sure of Preston Wilson. Andre Scalaraga is one of the Blake Street Bombers, too. The guy could hit him for days. Who was that? Jason Bates. I remember him. Dante Bichette. Uh, Derek Gibson. Hmm. Todd Helton. Another Dante. Whoa. Jason Jennings. Awesome. From Top's Finest. That's cool. Yeah, he was a great pitcher for us for a while. Andres Galarraga. Another big cat appearance. Dante. Best... Uh, what is my dog going crazy at? He's losing it. Vinny Castilla and Larry Walker. Dude, that was a sweet, sweet two packs right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Classic Cards. If he's not on, I'll have to tell him to watch this video later. But, uh, man, that was awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Opeachy and Classic Cards, you guys have... Uh, outdone yourselves, my friends. I did get another package. This is the uh, Urbox. So uh, give me one moment. I'm going to try and calm this dog down. Gorilla, what's up? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Dog was going crazy. Uh, Dragon fan. Where is this award I heard you got at? I'm not sure what award you're talking about. Uh, except... Um, I have the old one and I didn't get the new one. So I have the old one. With the misspellings. I thought I got the new one, but I didn't for some reason. So I lied to you that I had it. I'll still pull the, the old one up, though. So this one is from Christopher Urbanski. I do want to show it to everybody, though, once I get the new one. All right, this is from Savannah. I guess I should be opening this on camera. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Maple candy from Savannah. Very cool. This is probably going to be like a snowflake that she did. I'm going to hang up. That's just going to be for me, though. You guys don't get to see that. Suckas. No, you will. But it'll be in the background of my next video. All right. Thanks for your support. Nope. Thank you, Urban, for what you do for the community. You're legitski. If you haven't checked out Chris Urbanski's channel, I'm not even sure if that's how you say it, but... Urban Card Breaks. Check his channel out. Dude's Legitski. How long has our PSA been out? Uh, I think we're like on your order. We're probably close to 80 days on your order. Maybe less. Yeah, because I think you said you fixed it with, like, the spelling errors and asked me if I got it, and I thought, uh, 
I had, but I, I was looking at the old one. All right, let's go through and see what we got. But maybe I just missed it. I, in all fairness, I was uh, pretty deep into the cough medicine at that point. Trying to go to sleep. All right, so we have a 1990 score. Just sweet, I got another one of those. Ooh, a Donruss. Uh, what year is this orange Donruss? Do you guys know? 90? 1990. Magic Motion Baseball from Sportflix. Love it. Three sports cards from Sportsflix 88 edition. That is sweet. And then another Donruss. This one's going to be, what, 88? Yeah, 88 Donruss. Cool. Cool. He probably just sent me that email again. Dragon fans him. <laughs> yeah, I'll print it out. Julio Franco. Ooh, Clemente. Nice. Yount. Like that. Castillo. Danny Goodwin. Ooh, a little Max Muncy action. Very nice. Ooh, that's a nice card to get. That's going to be the uh, metallic foil. Is that what they call it? Pull that one aside. It's a nice card. And he knew to sleeve it. Very nice. Of course he does. And it's the urban snip, he calls it. Hank Aaron. <laughs> uh, in a chrome card, that's pretty good. All right, later, Gorilla. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Scott Feldman. Bryce Harper. Alex Wood. Paul Goldschmidt, George Springer, oh, that's cool, Home Run Stars, that is a sweet card, it's very shiny, reflective, it's held up, it looks nice, uh, let's see who else, ooh, Randy Johnson, very nice, pull him out, Willie Upshaw, Charlie Blackman, yeah. Oh, look at that. Charlie Blackman, number two. Was that 150? Sweet. I have really like the look of these, but I just had such bad luck with the uh, high-tech, Topps high-tech. Oh, man, I had terrible luck when I opened and did that break. I don't know if you guys remember that, but, oh, it was bad. Oh, okay. All right, well, uh. Yeah, once send me the new one and I'll I'll put it up. Chris Davis, that's a, a yeah, commemorative patch that's going to be a manufactured patch. Still pretty cool though, a Chris Davis patch. I'm not going to sneeze at that. But it why does it have Chris Davis and then have his nickname on the back maybe? Is that why they're doing that? I didn't know that was his nickname, Crush. It must be what it is. Bo Jackson. Very nice. Alan Trammell. Will Myers. Um, Henderson Alvarez. There's another one of those high-tech cards. Jose Ramirez. Kepler. Oh, ooh, there we go. Another shiny one right there. Those are just cool. Kind of chubby in that one, though. <laughs> Although, what's my excuse? He's a professional baseball player. He's making it work for him. Or at least was. Springer. Brown. And a little Jose Canseco. Award winner, rookie of the year for 86. Very nice. That was a sweet Urbox. So... If you don't know what that is, uh, you can pick up the Urbox. I think it's like a $15 subscription on uh, Urban's Patreon. So uh, it's a very cool little box, and you can get you know some pretty sweet cards every month. So uh, I think it's only 15 bucks. like I said. That was pretty solid for 15 I liked it. All right, so then I got uh, a card that I've been waiting for for some time finally came in the mail. You guys probably know what this card is if you have 
been on my channel at all. But this card I got off of Eric Jabs, a break that I bought into on Eric Jabs. And it finally came in the mail. That is a Ted Williams 4 of 5 from Flawless. Cut, autograph, and bat relic. That is a beautiful card. Ted Williams. That is definitely the best card in my collection. When it finally came in the mail, it took forever, but I was ecstatic. <laughs> Ted Williams, flawless, finally came. So, I have to grade it somehow. I ha I think I have to grade that card, though. Because it's just going to up the value so much more graded. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Steven's Cards, how's it going? Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. So, I wanted to make sure that I was able to go live tonight so that I could show you guys the breaks that I was doing, go through the mail uh, that I had, um, show you or explain why I've been gone for so many days uh, in a row without even jumping in, uh, giving any kind of an explanation. But yeah, I was on business and then I got sick uh, and was coughing so bad, just couldn't really go live uh, and make it sound decent at all. So tonight's not going to be a very long live either. I just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I got and, and uh, tell you about the new breaks that I have on the site. So yeah, the new breaks I do have on the site are uh, like some stack breaks. Um, and I can show you, like I said, the product here. So here's the football break. It's these two uh, Donruss Optic boxes and that Panini Contenders box. So that is going to be five, six, seven autos and a memorabilia card guaranteed. And we have uh, all of these boxes for the baseball break. That's going to be a Topps Finest Hobby box, a Bowman's Best, which I think comes with two boxes inside of it, but Bowman's Best Hobby box. We've got five of these Topps Chrome boxes. Four there, one on top. So we've got five of those, plus we have a one baseball in there that's an autographed baseball. So it's pretty cool. Then uh, I have... All that product on the site also. I'm not covering addresses up very well, but luckily they're all mine or people that you know. <laughs> Dave Durango. Uh, so yeah, check out the website because it's got... Here, I'll put the, the link in again. So there's still quite a few spots. I did sell one spot in... I think the football break, as soon as I put it on, I, th I think I sold a spot right away. But uh, I haven't been on doing live to really tell you guys about the spots or anything or about the breaks that we have. But um, anyways, this contenders box for football is Legitsky. It just came out. Like I said, it's fairly new, but I did open a pack on my own. I'll show you what the cards look like from that contenders. I had my nephew pick the pack out of the hobby box that he had sitting there, and he picked me an auto, so that was awesome. Although I put the auto away somewhere, but this is what the cards look like. So that's Andy Dalton, nice Aaron Rodgers, so they kind of look like tickets. Uh, here's a Peyton Manning winning ticket. Sam Darnold, Dak Prescott. So they're nice looking cards. Anyways, the products um, that you guys have seen before, uh, I think you've seen the baseball optics, so you probably know what those look like. But the Contenders uh, was fairly new, and I'm sure you guys haven't seen any product from me like that this year. So, What's up, Truth? How you doing, man? It's 
good to see you. I am feeling a lot better. Um, I'm still like congested and trying to catch my breath every once in a while. But I did notice my beard feels like it's grown uh, over two weeks. I haven't looked at myself in a webcam like image in a while, and it feels longer for some reason. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a nice Sunday. I was able to get some stuff done um, for the business, which is good. The business is growing, and I probably will have to spend a little bit more time with the business than uh, I have been spending. <laughs> um, I probably should have been spending more time uh, than I am now. But anyways, it's gonna pick up and ramp up a little bit. I have a couple new contracts that I'm picking up, so. I'm going to have to travel to Denver quite a bit more, which would be good product-wise. But um, on that front, I am also going to be working on opening a storefront, a card shop storefront. Uh, have the space and been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm just working on getting the display cases right now. Um, everything else we're pretty ready to, to go forward with, but um, I really need some display cases. So, uh, Anyways... That's going to be kind of a our goal for 2020 is to get that shop opened and profitable by the end of the year. So that would be kind of cool. So we're going to be doing breaks on a much more frequent basis because that's going to be probably the main source of income from our store. And more than likely we'll be doing case breaks of things. So um, I like those better because it just, you know, the odds on cases uh, better than just random boxes. So, awesome, Dragon Fan 10. Thanks, man. I'll print it out here. Uh, well, I'd have to get onto my other computer and do it, but it'll be on my next live, I promise. So, uh, anyways, this card shop, yeah, we're probably going to be doing a lot more breaks. Um, but I'm going to be moving and needing to move quite a bit of product as well. And so uh, I would like to sponsor some YouTube channels, sponsor, where essentially you buy the product from me at cost, and I'm able to send it to you. Um, you do your break with the product, but you buy it from me at what I would buy it for. And I'm doing it just so that I can move the product through. Um, and the reason why is I want to try and move like $50,000 of product a month. And that's a lot of product that you got to move out, but that's the only way you're going to get distributor discounts uh, from Tops or Panini or any of the big boys. So if you're moving a lot of product, then you can get distributor discounts, and that's they can be decent. You know, 15% discount is is pretty nice, um, and so that's where I'll be able to make my money, is being able to sell it at cost, and then I finally get the discount after I move enough product. So that's kind of the goal, uh, long term goal. So we'll see. Truth, I was showing this earlier. You, I don't think you were here, but I want you to see it because I'm going to send you one. But I got my card done finally. Isn't it cute? It's Gunner Buds. My mom, she did a great job. She put a beard on him and put my Rockies hat that I wear <laughs> all the time. So he's wearing my hat, got my a beard. He had a tennis ball at first, and I was like, Mom, why didn't you have him with a baseball in his mouth? She goes, Oh, that was a good idea. <laughs> So we had to switch it to a baseball, but it was cool. It's a good job. Um, my mom did the artwork, and then uh, uh, Isaac, I don't know how to say, Z Zelenowski. I think it's Zelen Zelenowski, something like that. Not sure how to say his last name, but anyways, Isaac did uh, the graphics for me. So he's the one who switched out the baseball, put in the sign, and kind of got it all uh, you know, spiffed up and, and, uh, digitally done so that I could send it into tops. So that was awesome. Yeah. It's a cool card. I like it. So I'll be sending these out to quite a few of you guys. Um, any of my, I'm going to, I have a list of people that I have to go kind of down that list first. So any of the mods that have helped out on my channel are obviously the first that are going to get cards. Um, and then after that, uh, people who have sent me direct support and have requested cards, and then I will have plenty left over, I think. I bought 50, so I, I don't think there's that big of a demand. But I'll uh, definitely get a card out to you. What's happening here? I 
I saw, I thought that was going to happen. Um, so yeah, I had a work call that was coming in and I'm going to have to go here and, and, uh, get back to work. Unfortunately, Sunday, six o'clock Sunday evening is, uh, work time in my world. So, um, Ricky Clark, I can definitely send you on. I'll put you down for one, man. Austin, it has been a while. Uh, and super short print card breaks. Did you get the second package that I sent <laughs> that I was supposed to make up for what I had accidentally not sent you? Um, yeah, I'll definitely get you one, Ricky. And Jaffa, I'm sorry I didn't uh, say hi as soon as you popped in, but uh, it's good to see you, Jaffa. Always nice to see Jaffa. Sorry, I... I've been off uh, line for so long that it's kind of, I have to like jog my memory a little bit. I know, it's a Gunner rookie card. That's what I like about it too. I had to have Gunner on there. Good, I'm glad you got it, Super Short Print. I'm sorry about that, man. I, I just completely messed up and didn't send you what I was supposed to. So... I've been enjoy. I've popped into a lot of streams. Um, while I was laying in bed, I would pop into a stream, but I didn't have the energy to type on my phone because you know when you start typing, you can't see the chat very well. And when you're sick, like once you start chatting, you kind of have to like keep up with it. And so I just would kind of pop in and and lurk, <laughs> linger in the background, and then kind of pass out. But there was two days there where I was just chills and hot and cold every day, you know, hot and cold, hot and cold. It was terrible. Feeling much better now. Um, but I am going to have to go. That phone call was uh, a call that I need to take because this uh, contract is uh, kind of important uh, for my other business. And I need to keep that as kind of numero uno priority. But I will be back on tomorrow. And I plan on being live this week. Um like my normal schedule instead of uh, being completely off. So I will be back and live and hopefully we can do these two breaks, mega baseball mixer number seven and mega football mixer. Number two um, are both on the site right now. So check them out. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see all the product at wide angle. Um, that's all the product right there. That's going to be in the break, except this card. <laughs> this is for me. Um, but all these boxes here are going to be in that break and it's going to be a pretty good break. So, uh, well, both of them are going to be kind of fun. So check them out. Also, there's some uh, stack breaks in there. If you guys have any interest in those, uh, I do have some product on hand. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be opening some of these, uh, packs that people have sent me and go through quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to try and do the normal time that I, uh, used to truth, which would be like 11 to one ish. So a two hour window there, 11 to one. And that's Colorado time. So on the East coast, that's going to be like two to three or two to four. No, wait, 11, uh, it'd be one to one to three. Good night. One o'clock to three o'clock Eastern time. So yeah, that's going to be my attempt. I'll try and do that this week. Lunch breaks at it's normal time. And, uh, yeah. I got some good content and some good product that I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, thanks for bearing with me while I've been out and been sick. Also, we've got PSA returns coming this week, so I will we'll be doing some PSA uh, video uh, opening on at least one of the videos. Um, one of them may only have one card in it, but it'll still be fun to open live. And as promised, I have not looked at what the grades are for any of the cards. So the cards are unknown to me. And we were going to find out together what the grades are. So the first card coming back was that Charizard that I pulled. Ooh, I'm really excited to see what the grade is on that, but I have no clue. Anyways. All right, guys. Sorry I have to cut it short, but work calls. So hasta la vista. Thank you all.